it's me, Raleigh, again. Don't it suck when you as a raw foodist go through the grocery store, the only thing available for you to drink is water. Everything else contains carbonated water, sugars, chemicals, and so forth. And nowadays they don't even have the decency of putting regular sugar in drinks. They've got cheap corn derivatives, high fructose corn syrups, and glucose that they put in it. So, what are you as a raw food is going to do? Do what you've been doing. Take the matter into your own hands. So, today we're going to get a drink called Rejuvelac. Rejuvelac is a fermented wheat berry drink. It is very uh, nutritious for you. It's high in vitamins B, E, and K. And uh, what's interesting is that the drink becomes pre-digested through the fermentation process. What this means is that the proteins are broken down into simpler amino acids and the complex sugars are broken down into simpler sugars. This makes the whole digestive system happy. It doesn't require that much energy for you to digest it. It's pretty much ready for absorption into the body. So what do we need to make our fabled Rejuvelac? Obviously we're going to need the wheat berries themselves. We're going to need a glass jar. This one is called a sprouter jar. It comes with a fine mesh top. This is for sprouting grains and such. You don't have to buy one of these guys. What you could do, you can get a regular glass jar you have at home and substitute the top with a thin cloth such as this which is called a cheese cloth. Now if you use the cloth route you might need one of these guys a rubber band. So now we need to rinse off the grains, the wheat berries. There are two ways you could do it. Either you can go this route where you rinse them off in the sprouter, you add some water to that, put the lid on, swirl it to clean it off really well, and then you just strain the water out. That's one way of doing it. Or if you got a colander, you can just take the berries and rinse them under your water. Now this of course is dependent on how clean your house water is. Now that the sprouts are clean, we need to start the sprouting process or germination process. So first off, we need to soak the wheat berries. Make sure all the wheat berries are submerged in the water. Then you top it off with a lid, either the lid that came with a sprouter or you use the cheesecloth and you secure the cheesecloth with a rubber band. The wheat bears need to be in water for about 8 hours, so the perfect time to do this really is before you go to bed, so you can sleep while they work. I like to save my space, so I put the wheat berries in my dishwasher because it's dark in there too and the temperature is pretty good for sprouting wheat berries. Here we are, eight hours later. They've been soaking overnight. All we have to do now is pour off the water and rinse them off. Voila, clean wheat berries. What we're gonna do now is let the wheat berries do their magic where they'll start sprouting, they'll start growing a little tail. And in order to facilitate this, we're gonna put the jar back into the dishwasher at a 45 degree angle. The reason for the angle is to ensure proper drainage and also that air can get in here to prevent any formation of mold. so 
often you want to come back in and look at the wheat bears to make sure that they have a proper circulation, there are no molds forming and that they're still a little bit moist. If they're not moist, you might have to rinse them again just to get a proper amount of moisture in there. I spent about 30 hours or so and I've been pretty diligent turning these guys over, looking for mold, making sure that they're growing properly. There's several factors that uh, dictate how long it's going to take. Uh, temperature of your house around 70 degrees or so is pretty good for sprouts to grow in. Uh, the type of water, type of wheat berries and so forth. So these uh, times are just general guidelines. But about 24 to 48 hours you should see some good results. So let's crack this baby open and see what we got going on. I don't know if you guys can see that it has sprouted small little tails. Now you can let it go a little bit further than this, but this is just for demonstration purposes. Now once the seed sprouts like this, it really increases the nutritional value exponentially. It really becomes a true superfood. All right, we're gonna give it one final rinse before we start making our drink. Take a jar, put the wheat berries in, and in order to get the last wheat berries, what I do is I normally take some water, put it in the jar, and swirl it around, that way I get all the wheat juice out. Fill the jar with water. And now we're going to set this thing aside for anything up to 24 to 48 hours. It depends on how strong you want the rejuvelac. Take your cheesecloth, put it over, put it up in a dark spot, cupboard, what have you. Hey guys, so the sprouted berries have been in the water now for about 24 hours, so the fermentation process should be nicely underway. We're going to check on that. Now you might wonder, why do I have the cheesecloth hanging out like this? I do this to remind myself sufficiently, to bug myself that it's in there because one time I left on a four day trip, I came back in and the house was pretty rank. So anyways, let's check it out, shall we? Oh yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Oh yeah, what you're looking for on the surface of this should be small bubbles and the smell should be slightly malty and the taste mm, a little bit fizzy kind of malty fizzy lemony lemonade if you know what I'm saying and if you don't make one of these and you'll know as you can see the wheat berries are still at the bottom of this so you're gonna strain that through a colander and put it in a jar refrigerated and it'll last you for a good week or two. I, to be quite honest, I don't know because I always go through at least a batch a week. Very good, very tasty, very nutritious. Time to sample and enjoy the fruit of our labor. Just the way it's supposed to look. Ah, just the way it's supposed to taste. Would you like brought to you by Mother Nature?